And as we saw with Katie Carrado earlier, a mess over in New Jersey this morning. Yeah, joining us now is Patterson Mayor Andre Saya. Uh, Mayor, we understand the firefighters had to actually cut a hole in a bridge wow. last night to rescue a man? Yeah, on Temple Street, and thankfully, we rescued him. Good. So, what was happening there? So the poor man got stuck under a bridge, and it didn't look, it looked really bleak at one moment, but I got to credit our first responders. They acted appropriately and immediately, and thank God the man has brought, been brought to safety. Well, that is certainly good news, mm -hmm. right? Because the floodwaters were fast and they were furious. Now, what else were you seeing? In t we know there was flooding, but in terms of rescues or, or, or people that were trapped yeah. in their homes, what do you know and what can you tell us? So about 250 people were rescued. Wow. 31 people are currently at the emergency shelter that we set up at International High School. We towed about 40 cars. And we estimate that about 60 in total were abandoned throughout the night. But that number could escalate because we're still surveying the streets. Mm. Besides the water and the cars that have just been abandoned and littered across the street, are you seeing any debris, any tree limbs, any yeah. other kind of uh, damage? So, Betty, I had to cancel street cleaning so that we could focus yeah. our operation on removing the debris that's strewn throughout the streets of our city. So what, are you, what is your big obstacle today, right? Because obviously there's cleanup. What are you urging residents to do, and what are your big tasks ahead in the next 24 hours? Yeah, well, we're concerned about the river cresting, of mm -hmm. course. I mean, that's, uh, that's going to be a primary concern of mine. But in addition, we've got to think about trees through saturation. You may have branches falling, so you have to be prepared for that. And we just want to assure our residents that our public works department is out there and public safety hasn't stopped. Mm. Yeah, I understand that you actually went out with firefighters last night as well. What is the electricity situation? The power, are there any power outages in your area? Not any major outages to report at the moment, but we are in constant communication with PSC and G. Okay. Yeah, I think you bring up a real good point because I don't know if you remember, but I certainly do. Irene, uh, that came through the area and everyone saw the sun come out. Everybody went outside and then the river crested mm. and created this massive flooding problem 48 hours after the storm came through. So what are you urging residents to do? Yeah, we're not out of the woods just yet. If you don't have to be on the road and you can stay home, by all means, I know people complain that their basement's been flooded. Uh, we can help out with that as far as directing you to the appropriate resources is concerned. But please, let the professionals yeah. do their work. We're, we're, the state is still in a state of emergency. Do you have enough shelters up and running for the folks who might need it? Yes, we do. As a matter of fact, since we are the seat of the county of Passaic, we are taking anyone from all 16 municipalities. Oh, that's good news. But right now you said you have around 30 people in your shelters, right? 31. I'm going to go visit them momentarily. Okay. All right. Well, Mayor, thank you so much for joining us. There's a lot of work still ahead. We do appreciate your time today. Thank you. Appreciate the uh, opportunity. Absolutely.